I've been doing some software simulation for a client of mine and I've run into a bit of a snag. In this particular instance, I've captured my personal email address when in fact it should be an email address for an internal employee of this particular organization. Now normally you might think that to, to redo this, you have to redo the software simulation in its entirety. But the good news is, is that you can actually edit these background images. And one of the great benefits of Adobe Captivate is that it plays so well with other Adobe software, specifically in this case, Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how I can Photoshop directly from within Captivate the uh, a new email address to replace the one that you're seeing on the screen here. So in this case here, I'm just going to right click on this slide and I'm going to find this particular background in the library and I'm just going to double click on that and it's going to bring up the image properties window. Now, if you have Photoshop installed or if you have the Creative Cloud installed, you can just click on edit and uh, it should, you may be prompted to select the application the first time, but if you've selected it before, it'll bring up that particular image directly into Photoshop and you can use the tools at your disposal. So in this case here, I need to replace this uh, email address. This is a personal email address and it doesn't make sense to be in this application. So uh, I'm going to use my brush tool and simply with this color selected like so I can paint out that email address quite easily and now I can even go so far if you have the appropriate font installed which I recommend that you do when you are doing software simulation I can just uh, simply put some new text in its place here so we'll just make up a fake email address that would be in keeping with um, the email address you would see from uh, such a company. So let's just put in a color here and we'll just make up uh, uh, an email address that you might see if you worked at this particular company. So there we go. Now there's one final step that I need to do. That looks pretty good. Um, maybe I'll just move it a little bit here so it's a little bit more centered in that cell. And uh, of course now I've got a layered object, a Photoshop object. Uh, so I need to actually make this uh, appropriate for Captivate. So I'm going to go into the Layer drop down menu and select Flatten Image. And that's going to turn it back into a single layer image. And now all I need to do is close this particular image. It's going to prompt me, do I wish to save it? And you don't need to really think about where you're saving it because the round tripping process will actually return you to this particular image. And you'll see now I have the edited uh, background image and I can continue to work on this project without having to re-record a thing. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.